party. When I was little, I went to a party with my mummy and daddy. Happy birthday, Timmy. <gasps> Don't forget Willy. Willy came too. The party was for Timmy's birthday. Angel! My friend Angel was there too. And there were lots of children. The party was in a big room. <laughs> there was a funny man called Josh. Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name's Josh, and I... Josh had a flower that squirted water. We're going to do the hokey cokey. Josh showed us how to do the hokey cokey. We all joined in. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> Pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the tail on the donkey. And Mummy tied the scarf so we couldn't see. I pinned the tail on the donkey's nose. Everybody laughed. It was funny. A big boy was clever. He pinned the tail just where it should be. Well done! Josh had a hooty horn. OK, musical chairs. Let's go. Go! He played musical chairs. On you go. Oh, oh my goodness, there you go. Oh, hard luck. Hey, we've got a winner. Well, done. a big boy won. Time for juggling. Josh juggled sweetie packets. Oh. I like Josh. When he draw one, he gave the packet to me. <laughs> Daddy made a big parcel for pass the parcel. When the music stops, you open the parcel up. When the music stopped, the parcel stopped and was unwrapped. The parcel never stopped at me. I never won any presents. Oh, Sophie! I didn't like the party. I didn't like never winning. Right, everybody, time for birthday cake. Come on. I didn't go for tea. Come on, Teg. You're going to miss the birthday tea. Come on. Hey Tig, look at this. Where will the button go? Where's the button gone? There! Yeah! Well done, Tig. Winning feels good. That's why it's fun to win. But Tig, in party games there's often only one winner. So that means you lose more times than you win. Not everyone can win all the time. It's fun that others win too, and fun just playing the game. Angel hasn't won, but she's having fun. Josh hasn't won, but he's having fun. You haven't won, but you had fun pinning the towel on the donkey's nose. Hey Tig, parties are full of surprises. Join in and find the next fun surprise. I wanted more surprises. And ran for tea. <laughs> I helped Timmy blow out his candles. I saw Josh Willie. <laughs> it's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like parties. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. The fun fair. When I was little, my mommy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a fun fair. Wooly came too. Inside it was very, very big. Inside it was very, very noisy. I've never been to a fun fair before. Angel liked the fun fair. Angel was excited. 
Light flash! Round about swim, round and round. Chairs flew up in the air. People were bounced up and down. Noises came from everywhere. Right, girls. What ride you want's going first? Angel wanted to ride on everything. Who wants to go on the alligators? Me! Shouted Angel. Mummy took Angel on the alligator. I watched with Daddy. The alligator whooshed and whooshed. Angel squealed. Angel loved the alligator. It was very, very noisy. Who was riding the Dodgems? said Mummy. Me, shouted Angel. I didn't want to ride in the Dodgems. They were too noisy. Mummy took Angel on the Dodgems. The music went boom, boom, boom. The Dodgems bumped and bashed. I didn't like the Dodgems. Angel loved the Dodgems. Angel wanted to go on the teacups next. You want to go home, Tig? I know. Let's go and wait in the cafe for Mum and Angel. Daddy took me to a little cafe. There's your juice, Tig. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, Funfairs are noisy. Funfairs worry me too. I never know where the noises are coming from. Music, squeals, whizzing and whirls. I never know which way to look next. Hey, Tig, fun fairs are fun places and you can have fun here too. I like to know where all the different noises are coming from. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> look, that's the rock and roll music from the Dodgems. Whee, woohoo! from the flying chairs. Honk, honk, ting, ting, dilly, dip, beep, bop, beep, bop, zob, zob, ding, ding, wee, wee. That's the little roundabout. <laughs> the glittery, clattery noises is the cup and saucer. Hey, Angel's having fun. That dancing music is from... The carousel roundabout with the horses. So now you know where the noises come from. Have fun. What's first? Doof, doof, honk, honk, diddly ding, woo, woo. Now I knew what all the noises were, I want to have fun. Can I go on the roundabout, Daddy? Honk, honk. I went on the honk, honk roundabout with Angel. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. We went on lots more rides, but best of all was the carousel. When the man saw Wooly, he said, Oh! It's only my toy spider, I said. And off we went. I like riding on the carousel. I like the fun fair. I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were three. Splash! When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me swimming at the swimming pool. Right, let's go and get changed. I know, why don't I take Willy? Because we don't want him to get all wet, do we? Mummy took Willy to watch. Daddy took me into our big room. Daddy helped me put on my swimming costume. Come on, Tig. Let's go to the pool. Who's excited? What's that? You go and have a shower. We had to have a shower. The shower was like the rain. I squealed. The pool was very, very big. There was lots of water. The water went on forever and ever, and nearly out of the window. 
Willie and Mummy sat in chairs. Mummy waved. I waved to Mummy. Say hi, Willie. A man splashed up and down the pool like a big sea lion. I held Daddy's hand. We saw some children. The children were splashing. Daddy put on my armbands. A lady splashed with her legs. I didn't like the splashing. I want to go and sit on the chairs with Mummy. I don't want to go swimming. Okay, well, Mummy said, "Why don't I take Teg to the little pool?" Mummy took me to the little pool. Wooly came to. Here you go, Teg. Look. There, Teg. Why don't you have a splash around? I don't like splashing. I said. Hey, Teg. A swimming pool might seem big and strange and full of sudden splashes, but a swimming pool is just like a big, big bath. You like a bath, don't you? So make it like bath time. You like playing boats in the bath, don't you, Tig? So have fun with this boat. There she blows. Hey, Tig. Now you can kneel in the water. It's much more fun. Here's another swimming game. Find the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Water in your mouth. Spit it out. Well done, Tig. You found the frog. Looks like you got your face wet too. Bounce the ball up and down as hard as you can, and see how many splashes you can make. So now you know, water and splashing is fun. So go for it, Tig. Have a splash with Daddy in the big pool. Yes, I thought. I like the splashing. I wanted to swim in the big pool with Daddy. Oh! I like the big pool. I like the splashing. I like the water all over my face. The big sea lion man saw Willy. <laughs> It's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love splashes. I love swimming. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were we. Excited. When I was little, I went to a festival. Willy came too. The festival was like a long fairy tale land. Some people were still like statues. A man floated. A mermaid smiled. A man was so still. A seagull sat on his hat. I was excited. There was a noise like a vacuum cleaner. The man blew a big bag and played a tune. I did a wee dance. Very good. I was all excited and bubbly inside. There was a man in the middle of the street. The man juggled. The juggling man asked Daddy to hold the ladder. Then the juggler climbed the ladder and juggled. Everywhere, everyone was so excited. People dancing, people singing. But the most exciting thing of everything 
was my friend Angel. Angel was there too. I was so excited. I wanted to cry and laugh. I wanted Angel to bubble like me. I hugged Angel hard. But Angel wasn't excited. Mummy said, calm down, Tig. Mummy took me to listen to a lady playing music. I don't want to listen to the lady. I think we're all getting a little bit overexcited. I wanted to be excited. Mummy was spoiling the fun. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not spoiling the fun. Mummy is a bit worried, that's all. It's fun being excited, but it's no fun being too excited. Being too excited is like bubbling over. <laughs> being too excited is like not knowing whether to laugh or cry or jump up and down. <laughs> being too excited can be scary. Scary for everyone. Being too excited can make the magic go away. So sometimes when you are bubbling up with excitement, it's fun to stop for a moment. Be still, as still as a statue. It's magic and fun for everyone. So go for it, Tig. Have an exciting or magic time. Yes, I thought. I like to be excited, but I don't want to bubble over. Well done, Tig. You seem a lot calmer now. Come on, let's go and have some fun. I had fun being a statue. Angel played statues too. We were very still. A lady as still as a statue saw Willy. She moved. It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like exciting magical days. I like bubbling inside. And I love Willy. We've been together. The mountain. When I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie we'll came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yeah. Ready, I said. And off we went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Tig, there'll be none left. Please, I said. Just one. I eat another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. 
I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. There's the, the top really of the up. mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. What does he want? This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the well, last there, tomato the sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No what more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I love my egg sandwiches, and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way. So you feel tired, but when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. you feel so happy, so pleased and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one too. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. We've been scared since we were three. The birthday present. When I was little, I had a big, big birthday present. It was all wrapped up. When I unwrapped my big, big birthday present, I found a bicycle inside. It was all shiny and pink and purple with a bell and a basket and a seat at the back for Willy. Mummy said, do you want to ride your bike? Are you going for a ride? Not in my pyjamas. Not in my pyjamas, I said. When I got dressed, I pushed my bike outside. Should I help you ride your bike, said Mummy. No, I said. I just want to push my bike myself. I love my big new bike. Willy likes my new bike too. I wrapped my bicycle up. I wanted to keep it all shiny and new. The next day, Mummy and me went shopping with our bikes. Shall I help you ride your bike? said Mummy. No, I just want to push my bike. It was a long way to the shops, round the fountain, past the playgrounds. I pushed my bike along. Going downhill, my bike ran away. Boing! <gasps> Tig! You need to use your brakes. Do you want me to show you? No, I said. I just want to push my bike. When we got to the long path, I was puffed. Tig, why don't you sit on your bike and I'll show you how to pedal? It'll be so much easier. No. No, I said. I just want to push my bike. At the shops, Mummy bought lots of things. I bought a flower for Daddy. Come on, Tig. On the way home, we stopped and watched the big children on their bikes. They look like they're having fun. They're having fun, said Mummy. I pushed my bike some more and then I stopped. I didn't want to push my bike. Tig, let me help you on your bike. No, I said. I didn't know what to do. Hey, Tig, pushing a bike is OK, but riding a bike looks much more fun, doesn't it? 
Pedal, 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 wee! But doing something new for the first time can be scary. Wee! <laughs> Ta-da! Not quite as scary as that, but still scary. All you need is a little help to get you going. Pedal, 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 wee! Hey, Tig! Sometimes you just need to ask for someone to help. So, why don't you ask your mum to help you ride your bike? You might find it a lot easier than you thought. Pedal, 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 wee! Go for it, Tig! You'll still have your new bike, but now you'll be riding it. Yes, I thought. I'll ask Mummy to help me ride my bike. Now, if you can sit on your bike, and if you put your feet on the... She showed me the bell, the pedals, the brakes, and how to go round and round. Riding my bike was easier than I thought. So Mummy and me rode all the way home. When Mummy saw Willie, she nearly fell off her bike. What's that in the back of your bike? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love riding my bike. And I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Changing my room. When I was a baby, I slept in a cot. It had big push-up sides. Willie slept there too. When I was bigger, I got a bed. My old cot was kept on the other side of my room. I liked it there. Willie liked it there too. One day I was busy building. Mummy said a new baby called Ben wanted to borrow my old cot. Tig, can baby Ben borrow your cot? OK, I said. Thanks, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Daddy took his toolbox off to my bedroom. I could hear lots of bangs. Daddy was taking my old cot to bed. He took off one end, he took off the other end. Crash! Daddy shouted, bother. Mummy thought the crash is funny. Daddy clumped down the hall with the cot to bed. When I heard the clumping and clatters, I had a look. My old cot looked different, all squashed in bits. I wanted my old cot back in my room. So I hid a bit of the cot behind the armchair. Daddy clumped, clumped along the hall. Wait a minute. Daddy was fuddled. Who's moved the cot? I haven't touched it. Daddy saw the cot behind the armchair. Tig. I want it back in my room, I said. Daddy said my room was much better without the cot. Mummy said we can make my room all exciting. I said I wanted it the same. Hi, Tig. Changes are scary, but you know what? Changes are fun too. Like changing your doll's clothes. Ta -da -ta -ta, ta -da -ta -ta. Changing the colour of your shoes. Changing what you build with bricks. Whoop. I'm changing your face from grumpy to sad to happy. So go for it, Tig. 
Have some fun and change your room. Hey, and you'll make Baby Ben happy too. He'll love your old cot. Yes, I thought. What's the fuss? Baby Ben can have the cot. There it is. Come on then, let's go and change your room around. Go and and I can have fun changing my room around. Mummy and me had fun moving things. Without the cot, we had loads of room. That's us all finished. What do you think of your room? I don't see my toolbox. Oh! Daddy found Willie in his toolbox. Oh no, there's a spider in my toolbox! Who is it? Oh, it's only Willie. I like my room. And I like changing things. I love Willie. We've been guests since we were here. Open wide. When I was little, my mummy took me to see the dentist. Willie came too. I made sure my teeth were really clean. Do you like going to the dentist? Yeah. yeah. Mummy said it was fun and the dentist was going to count my teeth. At the dentist, a nice lady sat behind a big desk. Hello, Tig, said the lady. That's the suckers that we've got, Tig. The lady said I would get a badge for having my teeth counted. We had to wait for the dentist. Lots of people were sitting on chairs. We sat next to a giggly lady. Can you show me how you brush your teeth? I showed the giggly lady how I cleaned my teeth. Oh, that's good. Mrs Kraken, do you want to come through? Oh. A lady asked Mrs Giggly, Come this way, please. Bye-bye, Mrs Giggly. Bye. One, two, three. In the corner of the room was a play shop. Me and some children played play shop. Four, five. I did lots of counting. I like the dentist. Her name was Rita. I've got some juice here that you need to gargle around your mouth and you spit in the bowl. So that washes your tooth and that dries your tooth. Rita showed me lots and lots of things. Things I'd never seen before. There's a slurpy sucker. A water shooter. Sunglasses, a polisher. It's a special, special fast electric toothbrush. Is that good? But best of all was the chair. And then right up into the sky. The chair could go up and down and back and forward like a ride at the fun fair. Right, I'm going to count your teeth now. This is my tooth counter for counting your teeth. Open wide. Please. I shut my mouth. I didn't like the tooth counter. In a minute, she said. Rita chattered and clattered. Hey, Tig. There's nothing wrong with the tooth counter. It's just a magic wand to help Rita with her counting. You'll never know how many teeth you have until you open your mouth. Opening your mouth is as easy as yawning. <sighs> Opening your mouth is as easy as eating a plum. Opening your mouth is as easy as laughing. Ha 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 ha! Okay, I said. I'm just going to put my visor on. OK, Tig, open wide for me and we can count these teeth. Open wide, said Rita. Open wide. Rita counted my teeth with her magic Whee! wand. 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. You've got 20 teeth in there. <gasps> it's only a toy spider. Now you get your 
your sticker. Wee. But you're all done? She was very brave. The lady at the desk gave me my badge. And Willie has a sticker. Of course he can. Oh, there you go. Well done. I wanted a badge for Willie too. I like the dentist. Willie likes the dentist too. I love Willie. Duncan had a farm. He had a combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had a farm too. Duncan's daddy had a big, big combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had fields that grew things that were harvested by the combine harvester. One day, we went to Duncan's farm for harvest supper. Daddy said, harvest supper was a party. Say yippee for all the things that grew in the farm. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! The harvest supper day was the last day of the harvest and the last day for the combine harvester. Willie came too. Mummy said that all the things for the supper were growing on the farm. Look, Tig, all the food here for the harvest supper has been grown on the farm. So Wheat for the bread. And apples for the apple juice. Apple for the juice. Right, Tig, why don't you go upstairs and play with Duncan and I'll give Rebecca a hand. Good girl. Yes. Duncan was playing on his little farm. I drove the tractor. I collected the hay bales. Deep break for the farmers. Then Duncan's mummy gave us juice and oaty flapjacks. Those are oaty flapjacks and guess what? The oats are grown here on the farm. Mummy said the oaty flapjacks were grown on the farm too. The oaty flapjacks were so good. I wanted to see them harvested. Outside, Duncan's daddy drove off on his big, big combine harvester. Come on, said Mummy. Harvest time. I wanted to see the Oti flapjacks. I was so excited. Daddy wanted to make a scarecrow. We watched as Duncan's daddy drove the big, big combine harvester. But I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. We watched as the combine emptied grain, but I couldn't see any oaty flapjacks. We watched as straw came out of the back, but I couldn't see any oaty flapjacks. OK, time to make a scarecrow, said Daddy. Where are the oaty flapjacks? Where are the oaty flapjacks? In the kitchen, said Mummy. They grow in the field. No, just the oats for the oaty flapjacks grow in the fields. No oaty flapjacks. Hey Tig, it's not nice when you expect to see something and then you don't. No oaty flapjacks. Especially if they're oaty flapjacks. But sometimes when we don't quite understand, things can get mixed up. But Mummy said, Willie. Mummy said that oats grew in the field, not that oaty flapjacks grew in the field. Oaty flapjacks don't grow, oaty flapjacks are made. Oaty flapjacks are made from the oats that grow. What we can see is the oats that grow being harvested. That's the fun. The oat grains poured into the trailer and then we have the leftover straw dropped out of the combine harvester to make the scarecrow. <laughs> so go for it, Tig. Have some harvest fun. Make a scarecrow. Yes, I thought. I'm going to have some harvest fun now. I'm going to help make the scarecrow. We all collected the leftover straw from the combine harvester. We had fun stuffing old clothes. We tied the stuffed clothes to a pole. We filled 
an old pillowcase with straw too. Uh -huh. There we go. Right, let's have a wee look. Duncan's mummy drew eyes. I drew a mouse. That's excellent. That's brilliant. We carried the scarecrow back to the farm. We were having the harvest supper in a shed. Daddy popped the scarecrow inside. My hat. Lots of people came to the harvest supper. The giggly lady brought some eggs. Everyone brought something. Vegetables, honey, sunflowers, pictures. My friend Louise brought a picture of a sandcastle. Mummy pinned it up next to my picture of the sea. Duncan's mummy gave us all a corn dolly made of straw. I had one and Louise had one. Duncan's daddy finished harvesting. Everything had been harvested. Now we could have our harvest supper. I told Louise that the harvest supper was all grown on the farm. Everything that we're eating is grown on the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can I propose a toast to the farmer Duncan and to the harvest? The harvest! After supper, it was time to take our scarecrow to the fields. When I looked for my corn dolly, Louise had taken it. Louise, this is my corn dolly. That is yours. Yours, mine. The one nearest to my bread, that's Louise. Lu Louise, that's my corn dolly. No, it isn't, it's mine. Louise had taken my corn dolly. Daddy, Louise has my corn dolly. No, but isn't that your one? No, that's Louise's. But they're exactly the same. No, no, no. It's just a little thing. Don't worry about it. Hey, Tig, when you know you're right, it's not fair that someone else thinks you're wrong. Louise has my corn dolly. But Louise is quite sure she's right too. Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, who can say? Just everyone looks in different ways. Whee! One way you'll see the darkness, one way you'll see the light. Depends which way you're looking, if it's sunrise or the night. One way you'll see the waves break, one way you'll see the sand. Depends which way you're looking, by the sea or land. Hey, stop spoiling all the fun and messing up the day. What matters most is getting on and joining in the play. There's right and wrong and wrong and right and what will be will be. Now no more angry feelings, let's agree to disagree. One way you'll see a rainstorm, one way the sun will shine. Depends which way you're looking. Another, but I didn't want to mess up the day. I wanted to join in the fun. Daddy put up the new scarecrow in a field. The scarecrow might frighten crows, but the scarecrow seemed scared of woolly. It's only a toy spider. Then we all danced. and harvest supper. I like my corn dolly and I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were three. Wait 
waiting. When I was little, I didn't like waiting. I didn't like waiting for Mummy to finish her work. I didn't like waiting for Daddy to come home. Wooly didn't like waiting either. One day, I was waiting for the rain to go away. He'll be all day waiting for the rain to stop. Should we go and bake a cake instead? Come on, Why then. don't we bake Dad. a cake instead? Said Daddy. Right. We washed our hands and put on our aprons. I put everything on the table. Bowls, sugar, oil, eggs, oranges and raisins. Oh, said Daddy. Carrots. Mustn't forget the carrots. Carrots for a cake. I said. Just you wait and see, Tig. Wait and see, said Daddy. Mmm, I thought. I like my carrots with my potatoes. Thank you. Daddy chopped the carrots and I grated them in the special machine. Daddy grated orange skins. All of it. We tipped sugar into a bowl. Daddy poured sticky oil all over the sugar. Slop when the carrots and oranges. Yuck! Whoa. We broke eggs all over the yuck. I sprinkled raisins. Want you another one? I mixed up the mush. Thanks. Nothing looks like anything. Is this a cake? I said. Just wait and see, said Daddy. Flump. I dumped some flour and I stirred everything together. I like making cakes. Daddy had a tin with paper. We put the mush into the tin. Into the oven went the tin. Say bye bye to the cake. Bye bye cake. Now to wait, said Daddy. Let's see, see the clock up there. So when the big hand gets to 12, it's ready, OK? And now we just have to wait for the cake to bake. How, how long? Can I see the cake now? I said, we not yet, Tig. We have right, to wait. Nothing was happening. I didn't like waiting. Hey, Tig, waiting for things to happen can be very tiring and dull and yawning. <sighs> Waiting for things to happen can be angry-making, too. The trouble with waiting for things to happen is that some things just don't seem to happen at all. The time just seems to stop. Tick, tock, tick, tock. But if you want the time to move and things to happen again, then don't sit and wait. Do something else. Have fun and think about other things. And when you're having fun and thinking about other things, things will start happening. So go for it, Tig. Why not have fun and help Daddy clean the kitchen? Then that cake will be baked in no time. Yes, I thought. No use sitting and waiting. I'll do something else. Daddy, can I help you clean up? I helped Daddy do the washing up. Okay. Then it was time to take the cake out of the oven. Wow. How lovely does it look? Mmm. Delicious. Right, we waited again for the cake to cool. Willie played hide and seek with Daddy. Oh, oh, it's a spider. Ah, oh, you got me. It's only a toy spider. Then we ate the carrot cake. I didn't need potatoes. Mm. You made it. I don't mind waiting for some things. I love lilies. We've been guests since we were here. One step at a time. When I was little, my daddy took me to buy some eggs. Hi, Dada. This is Willie. Oh, I love Willie. We didn't go to the shop. We went a long, long way, way to the country. Willow. Go and get Willie. Willie really came too. In the country, we went through a gate. We walked through some long grass. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? We 
we walk down a long, long lane. The long, long lane was very smelly. Stinky. What's that smell, Daddy? I think it's a cow. I wanted to see the cow. I've never seen a real cow before. I think the cows are busy. Busy mooing, I said. At the end of the lane, we saw a scarecrow. Scarecrow! Oh, what's he missing? Big hat. He put the scarecrow's hat on. Whoa, look at that hat. Do you want to think? Look. <laughs> Let's put him on his shoulder. Whoa. I really like the scarecrow. <laughs> I want to see the cow. No, we need to go and get eggs first. Daddy said no, we had to get the eggs. We came to a farm. I knocked on the door. Oh, well done. A giggly farmer opened the door. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to get the eggs just for me. You come to get some eggs? Yeah, we'd better go and see the chickens then. OK. Come on, come on. The giggly farmer took us to see the chickens. I wanted to see the cow. The chicken laid some eggs for me and Daddy. We put them into a box. I picked them up and counted them. That was good, wasn't it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure. Oh, there you go. Bye-bye, Farmer Giggly. The long, long lane was very smelly. Come on, Tig. I want to see the cow. Moo! Oh, what's that? A big animal was looking at us. I don't like the big animal. There's nothing to be scared of. It's all right. It's only a cow, said Daddy. Don't like cows. Too big. Come on. It's quite safe. It's behind a gate. Not past the cow, I said. Come on, we need to get home. No. Why not try it one step at a time? Wooly whispered. Tig. One step at a time, it's easy. OK, you go. <laughs> Tig, one step at a time, like Grandmother's footsteps. Come on, creep up on me. Saw you! Come on! Saw you again! Come on! Gotcha! <laughs> Tig. That was brilliant. You walked past the cow. You've passed the cow, he said. Should we show the cow, Willie? <laughs> Look, Willie. Funny cow. <coughs> Silly cow. It's only my toy spider. Uh, Bye. Hey. Come on then. Home now, said Daddy. Yeah, come on then. I like cows. And I love Willie. We've been scared since we were three. The painting day. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a painting day. Willie came too. Are you having fun, Angel? I was excited. I liked painting. We painted lots. <laughs> that is such a good picture. Do you need to go to the toilet, Tig? No, I said. I wanted to paint. Angel looked funny. She got paint on her nose. Your nose! Let me clean your nose. Let me see. And then I thought, I do want to go to the toilet. Hey, girls, come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, Come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. 
we had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Take, are you okay there? Do you need the toilet? No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. That's Angel. The man was very clever. Yes, yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. Girls, come with me. Wait, you see Daddy thing? said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited. I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toilet. Yeah, I think so. No, I said. I wanted to see the funny picture. It's funny. A lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Oh! When the machines? No. No what? I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. I didn't want to go to the new, big, smelly toilet. Hey Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Whoosh! Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oh! I love Willie. We've been scared since we were me. First day. Right. When I was little, I loved going to my nursery school. <laughs> Willie liked my nursery school too. At my nursery school, I had my own place to put my coat. My nursery teacher is called Claire. I like Claire. Sometimes I play by myself. Sometimes I play with the other children. Sometimes I'm so busy playing that I have to give Willie to my teacher, Claire. Claire always puts Willie somewhere where he can watch me playing on the messy table. Doing my writing. Playing with the sand. Having fun with water. One day, a new little boy came to my nursery. Everybody, this is Rufus. Claire told us the new boy's name was Rufus. Rufus didn't seem very happy. Rufus didn't want to play. 
clear and give Rufus some toys. Rufus just looked. When we went out to play, Rufus stayed inside. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick called Charlie. Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Chick. Charlie loved his mummy, and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Chick is frightened of the outside world. Till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I am cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip. Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willie for the day. Rufus likes Willie. And we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to the nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willie, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willie! We've been scared since we were here. Hola! When I was little, I went on a holiday, a long, long way away. Don't forget Willie. Willie came too. When we arrived at the holiday, it was in a hotel. I was asleep. In the morning, I woke up. We were in a big room with stripy bits of sun. Mummy, where are we? We're on holiday, Tig, in Spain. Tig, come and see this. Help me open the shutters, said Daddy. Outside was our very own little balcony. Tig. Through the trees, I could see the sea. At breakfast time, we went onto the hotel roof. That's funny, I thought, having breakfast on the roof. Everything was different on holiday. After breakfast on the roof, we heard some shouting. Daddy said, hey Tig, come and look at this. Tig, come and see this. We looked round the corner and there was a swimming pool. That's funny, I thought, a swimming pool on the roof. Mummy we put sun cream on me and a big sun hat. Right, ready? OK. Then we went out to explore. Everything was blue and green and white and beautiful. Nothing was quite the same. Mummy liked the shops. At one shop they sold dresses. They were pretty dresses. But they look different. Hola, son vestidos muy bonitos. Would you like one? Said Mummy. Sure. I wasn't sure. Okay. Everything was all later. a bit strange. Come back later. Come on, then. Daddy found some ice cream. Egg, have you ever seen ice cream like this before? The ice cream was all different colours. Flavours. And piled up into mountains. 
we went to look at the sea. The sea was so big and blue. Way down below was a beach. There were fishing boats and straw umbrellas. We go in the telescope? Yeah. We look through a telescope. Can you see anything? We could see fishermen and their fishing nets. Maybe we can go down on the beach for a swim soon, said Daddy. I wasn't sure. Everything was so different. Everything was so hot. Hey, Tig, when you go on holiday and visit new places, nothing is ever quite the same. There are so many little differences. But that's what makes a holiday all the more fun. La 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 I go to new places, there's lots of new faces On my holidays The change is amazing, the sun can be blazing On my holidays I can't stop my smiling, I find it exciting On my holidays La 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 And your treats and your meals that you eat On your holidays The view's ever-changing The palm trees are waving On your holidays New sounds and new smells And the ringing of bells tingling On your holidays You love all your holidays So different from every day On your holidays La 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 Yes, I thought. Everything is different. But this is my holiday. Daddy, can I get an ice cream? Yes, come on then. It's fun. Here we go. Hola, ¿quieres uno? The lady in the ice cream shop said, Hello. I like the lady. My ice cream was different. Mmm. But my ice cream was the best. We went for a swim on the road. There were other children swimming too. The children said, hello. Hola. I like the other children. In the town, Mummy bought me the pretty dress. I liked everything different. Maybe you can I like nice. the lady at the shop. Gracias. But I didn't understand what she said. Adios. We went down to the beach. There were other children on the beach. Hola. The children said hello. When we had lunch, it was cooked on the beach. Paella, said Daddy. My favourite. With lots of flames and bubbling. While we waited for the paella to cook, I played on the climbing frame. Hola. There were some other children. They said hello. I like the other children. When we ate the paella, it was so good. It had prawn and chicken and rice. Mm. The climbing frame children were sitting at a table next to me. They waved and said, hello. I wanted to say hello too, but I didn't know how. Hey Tig, we're on holiday in Spain. Everyone here speaks in a different way to us. That's no worry. We can speak like them too. We can speak Spanish. See? Si. Si. 
What does everyone say to you? Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. You understand. Hola is hello. Now you can say hola too. Hola. even more holiday fun. I can talk to everyone. Hola. Hola, I said to my friends. Hola, my friend said to me. After lunch, I played on the beach with my friends. We talked lots. Siesta time, said Mummy. Siesta time. And adios. Adios. Goodbye, I wave to my friends. It was so hot. We had to sleep after our lunch. It's great. Two days for one in Spain? Two days for one, said Daddy. Everything was so different. That night, I wore my pretty new dress. Children were dancing. said my friends. Hola. There was so much dancing, laughing and clapping. Hola. Hola. When a man saw Wooly, he stamped his feet right. It's only a toy spider. I liked my holiday. I liked everything being different. And I love Wooly. We've been guests since we were three. Big stomps. Look, what's that big red wife? When I was what's little, that? I went on a holiday. Not a fairy. We went on a boat to the holiday. I liked the boat. Willie liked the boat too. At the holiday, we lived in a caravan. The caravan was like a little house. My friend Angel and my friend Timmy were on the holiday too. There were lots and lots to do at the holiday. There was a swimming pool with a bridge. Every day there was showtime. Hey. Mr Tonka played the piano. Lady. Daddy was funny and said nonsense. For your delectation. Mummy did a poem about a cat. The owl and the pussycat went to sea. They I like money, showtime. I made two puppets. Bernard and Bumpy. Bernard and Bumpy danced. <laughs> Everyone laughed. There was a big room with lots of games. Mummy and Daddy played a funny game called badminton. They hit a feathery thing. I wanted to hit it too. I couldn't hit the feathery thing. OK, you ready, Tig? Here we go. Oh. Oh. I was cross. Tig. Daddy looked cross too. Angel did skipping. I wanted to skip like Angel. I couldn't skip like Angel. I was cross. Angel looked cross too. Timmy played another game, table tennis. I couldn't hit the ball. I was cross. Timmy looked cross too. Hi, Tig. You OK? No. I was cross. I was making everyone else cross too. Hey, Tig, there's nothing wrong with feeling cross. 
you're just feeling cross because you can't do some of the things other people can do. Skipping like angel. Skip, skip, skibbity woo. Playing the badminton game like mummy and daddy. Pip, pop, pip, pop, pip, pop. Playing table tennis like Timmy. Ping, pong, ping, pong, pingity pong. But one day, when you're older, you'll be able to do all those things and lots more. But Tig, there's lots of things you can do now. You can make people laugh with your puppet shows. Hello, I'm Bernard. And I'm Bumpy. Hey Tig, go and get rid of your cross feelings so they don't hurt anyone else. Go and have a good stomp. Then have fun making everyone laugh. <laughs> yes, I thought. I don't want to make anyone else cross. I shall have a stomp. I stomped into the ball pool till I was laughing again. <laughs> At showtime, I made everyone laugh with my stompy dance. When Mr. Tonka saw Willy, he got a fright. I told you a toy spider. I like making people laugh. I love Willie. <laughs>